let's create a new workflow i'll name this uh, save as files create okay we have created a new process let's create a sequence within this process let's name this just save files okay so within the sequence the first step will be just grabbing the excel file within our folder let's just use excel application scope okay so i do have a sample file let's just open um the file the sample file to see how it looks like so basically i have three different worksheets so t52 t12 t28 each of them has a different data set and my goal is to save this individual tabs into individual file and then each of them uh, i would like to save individual tab name as file name so that will be the output of this video okay let's close this save and then i'll move this within our folder okay select this sample files okay the next step is to use the activity called get workbook sheets so this activity will get you all the workbook sheets so the t12 t52 and t28 that i've just shown you and this will get you each of the sheets and then we have um we have to set a variable to the output of this activity um i'll just name it sheets and then let's do a control k and set this as a variable enter and this will be a list of strings so this will give you the output of a list of a uh, sheet's name and then the next step is to loop into each of that sheet and and get the data from each of them so i'll need to get a for each loop for each item within sheets which is this list of strings so we we'll loop into each of them and read the data within them so we need the next activity called read range and here we need to put in the the name of the sheet which is item So remember, um, it's a list of strings. So we need to convert this into string. So two string. Okay. So once we have read the data, we need to put them in a data table. Let's name this data table just DT. Let's highlight this and then do a control K again to set this as a variable. So it's, it's great that it's just automatically help you to save into the variable type that you need which is a data table so save us time to find the type of variables we need to save it into so the next things we have the data we want next thing which is pretty easy just to write them into the excel file so the next thing is again use the excel application scope and this time because i 
I don't want to set them as a static file name. I want them to use the name of each worksheet. So we can take the variable item, which is from the for each loop for each. So this each items, we convert it to string and then plus put in the extension of an SL. So this will give us the name of each tab for um, it within the file. So the next thing is just to write them. So we have write range, which help us to write the data into each of the file. So I'm not gonna change the name of the sheet. I'm just gonna use sheet one and then from cell A1 and then the data table, which is the data table variables we've just created. So it's DT and let's add the headers and that's all. Pretty straightforward. You s if you watch, if you have watched my videos before, you can see it's, it's the same activities we have used before for all the Excel automations. So it's very handy if you uh, have learned how to use these activities. You can kind of um, use the the same activities but achieve uh, different results, uh, different outcomes. They would, try to automate. So let's just run it and see what we can get. Okay. I can see it's work in progress. Okay, process has just ended. Let's just check our folder. Yeah, voila, this is what we want. So I'll put files for each worksheet and using the name of each tab. So each worksheet name being saved as a file name. And then if you click on it, uh, Sheets one has all the, the data from the work the work for sheet. So that is all. I hope this video is helpful and let me know if you have any questions, um like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you find this uh, video useful and please like or subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. But do leave me a comment or ask me anything in the comment section and I'll try to respond. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.